the links I go to. You know, I spent over four hours today working on this, contacting some of my contacts about this stolen lens, and the link is below. And I had two calls to supervisors at eBay, and we all know eBay is a scuzzy company. And the summation, after talking to two supervisors at eBay about this, since the owner gave me all the proof and receipts and pictures, is that eBay basically told me to go shove it up a dark hole. They didn't give a damn that they are being accessory to stolen merchandise. Well, eBay does require law enforcement to step in on a stolen merchandise for final resolution. The auction only has um, six hours or so left to go. There are 45 people bidding on this ultra rare lens. Not only is it ultra rare, it's a one of a kind lens. A lot of people reach out to me, see what I could do about this. And the link to the auction is right here in the uh, link to this article. Anyway, I found out a lot of interesting and like horrifying thing, things about the seller. And I don't want to give out anybody's name, but I've been in contact with a person that owns this lens who was stolen from me. He has the PayPal receipts he sent me, the original images of the lens that he sent me with the specific uh, serial number on the lens, which is 28031. The eBay seller, of course, it's in Mexico, which is where it was stolen from. So there's no chance, you and I both know, if you got five brain cells, that this lens has no chance in hell of ever returning to the owner because it is lost in a dark hole from which nothing stolen will ever, ever, ever return. You know it, I know it. No offense, but that's just a fact. The owner admits that, everybody knows it. The point is, is that eBay is an accessory to sale of stolen merchandise. They've, uh, eBay specifically, and one of the managers that I spoke with was Robin, and I said, let me get this straight, Robin. Even though I, right now the owner is at work, and he won't get off of work until the auction has been completed. So right now, you're not willing to seize the auction or halt it or end it and say, hey, you know, there's some question about this. Um, and Robin was, we are not interested in your evidence. I said, I've got the PayPal receipts, the original auction. Now, the owner bought it in 2013, and he paid 2500 and some bucks for it. He sent me the receipt, all the details, his original images of the lens. And this lens is not only rare, it's been modified to a Leica M mount. So not only was it a unicorn lens, it is like a unicorn lens with a leprechaun writing on the back. It's that rare of a lens. And the eBay seller is selling it with the red filter that, was, uh, that it came with when it was stolen from him. So I've been told by two managers at eBay that they just don't give a hoot in hell that this is stolen. And they don't, literally, they don't want the evidence. We don't care this ending. And the last manager at eBay, her name is Robin, supervisor, told me, let me remember her exact words for her here. Yeah, yeah, here's what she said. She said, we see that you're an eBay seller. Wouldn't you be upset if someone called, <laughs> this is really, really stupid. I mean, it just takes a mental midget to say something this stupid. Wouldn't you be upset if someone called up about something that you were selling, meaning me, and told us to end the auction? I said, Robin, if someone called up and had a mountain of evidence like I'm willing to send you right now, proving that what I'm selling is stolen with a very specific serial number, you know, there's no other lens like this on earth, then if it, with the same serial number, <laughs> then yeah, you should shut down my auction. So that's, that's just like, the, that's some of the stupid things people say. It's ridiculous. Now, what we call this is called being an accessory to the sale of stolen merchandise. Now, we know law enforcement has to step in for final resolution of taking care of this issue, vis-a-vis -vis the guy uh, who I've been told is connected to Rus I mean, to a Mexican mafia. I can't tell you where I got that information from, but I was like, wow, really? Um, apparently, the guy that's selling out on eBay creates multiple accounts, and his latest account is just a new one because his old ones got shut down. And I found him on Facebook, and I found him in other places, and I found what he's connected to. Apparently, he's a bit of a camera buff himself. Apparently, he is a fence because there's only two possibilities, and it appears he's not the actual thief, although he could be, um, of the lens. He's uh, either the thief, which doesn't appear to be the case, or he's a fence for the stolen merchandise. In other words, the dude steals it, he sells it for X number of bucks. By the way, the thief, or the, uh, the fence, who's still selling stolen merchandise, I contacted him, I said, you know what, I have all the images 
and proofs from the owner of this lens that it's stolen. And he said, oh, I don't believe you. I have a receipt of where I got it from. And I said, dude, here's the images, the exact same lens, same serial number. I said, it's stolen merchandise. Did I mention there's 45 people bidding on it right now and it's up to $1,600 and the auction is going to close in six hours? Now, I'm not saying that you should go to this website for which there's a link below and then clicking on the eBay link where this item is listed for sale, but maybe there's something, I don't know, maybe there's something you could do. <laughs> I'll let your imagination run wild on that one. Um, yeah, maybe you could, uh, I don't know, I'm not saying anything. Um, what eBay did is an affront. Um, now, if I were to do that, you know, someone came to my door and I said, hey, I see you're selling something, you know, you fat, bald asshole on, uh, on Craigslist. And what you're selling is mine. And here's the images of it. And here's the serial number. It was mine. It's stolen. You know, well, I don't care. I'm going to continue selling it. Well, I'm going to go to the, well, until the police get involved, I'm not going to stop selling it because I bought it from Joe down the street and he's only been locked up 10 times for theft. <laughs> this was eBay's position. Someone's knocking on eBay's door. Hello, you know, this item's stolen. Well, you need to get a, you know, you need to contact the police. Well, this is true, but the auction is about to close. You need to stop the auction. No, we're not going to do that, you know. No, no, no. Now, I know you have the proof there in front of you that this is stolen. It's the exact same thing that I'm selling that's stolen, but we don't want to see that proof. Let me get this point to you clear. This is not my opinion. eBay told me flat out, no ifs, ands, or buts, they don't care about the evidence. They told me, two supervisors told me, they don't care. Until the law enforcement gets involved, we don't want your evidence, we don't care. eBay! <laughs> um, I've been in con... I spent over four hours today working on this for this guy. Like I said, the auction is here in the interior of this, the link to the auction. So I guess there's six hours left on it. So let's see what we can see. See? Good. I actually like helping people, you know? Stuff like this burns my ass. You know, my house has been broken into twice in the past. Not while I was here. Woe unto the soul that dare enter my house for theft reasons or any other reasons while I'm home. That will be a mistake from which, yeah, I'm not going to continue that statement. Woe unto anybody that does. So I commiserate with uh, his uh, stolen merchant. This is also, too, why you need to get insurance on anything that's worth over, like, 500 bucks. Got to get insurance on it. Obviously, like I said, the lens is never returning from Mexico for obvious reasons. There's just no chance in hell of that happening. I mean, that has disappeared into the black hole of black holes. It ain't never coming back. That lens will disappear... God knows where. <laughs> There's like one chance in 10 billion of <laughs> retrieving the lens. Really very valuable lens. I would love to have it. It sure is sexy. Mm. Maybe I'll bid on it and buy it. Just kidding. I don't buy stolen merchant. I was only joking about that. But what if I bid on it and didn't actually buy it? I won it but didn't pay for it. I and mean, what if I did that? I don't know. No, I wouldn't do that. Someone else could do that. Yeah. I don't like thieves, and I don't like people stealing stolen crap that they stole from me. So I feel for the uh, dude. Maybe we could do something to help him out. I like helping people. I wish I could do more. I spent four hours today on this. This guy's a complete stranger to me. But I spent took four hours of my life out to try to help this guy. I'm not saying I'm the best thing since sliced cheese, but I do like helping people. I might be a fat, bald, tattooed asshole, but I actually like helping people when the cause is just and righteous. I am that kind of dude. Let's see what you could do, if anything. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. I hate thieves. Stinking people, sneaking into your place, stealing your crap. You know what I'm saying? There you go.